Hey y'all, what's up? Eric Johnson back with y'all again with some sad news coming out of Flint, Michigan. Um, city councilman Eric Mays has suddenly died at the young age of 65. I'm getting this information from ABC 12 News uh, website. Um, yeah, this just happened a couple of hours ago, which I'm looking at. Uh, Eric Mays, controversial councilman for the city of Flint, Michigan. It said the city has announced um, May's death Saturday evening. The 65-year-old's year old's death was uh, attributed to natural causes after, after an illness. Uh, Flint Mayor, Mayor Sheldon Neely said May's bold and courageous service made him beloved among his people in the first ward. Neely said May's strong presence will be missed at City Hall. And this brother has been doing a lot of work over the past couple of years. You can check him out on YouTube. He was definitely a man of the people. This is real shocking to hear that this that this brother has died because he definitely wanted to make a difference within his city, let alone throughout other people's lives, especially in the black American community. This is a tremendous loss for our community and a shock to all friends and family, Neely said, as our community grieves during this difficult time on behalf of Councilman Councilman May's family, we will ask that community members respect their privacy and allow them to um, mourn their lost one. We will continue to lift the family in prayer. Neely ordered flags to fly at half staff at Flint at Flint City Hall in May's honor beginning Monday. Let me get some more information. Mays represented the first ward on the Flint City Council for more than 10 years. He often received the most votes of any of his colleagues on the council, showing his enduring popularity among his consistents. He first was elected in November 2013 to succeed Anita Brown in representing the city's northwest side. First ward voters elected Mays um, to his third term on the council in November of 2021. He served as council president for part of 2021 and chairman of the powerful finance committee in 2018. Mays ran unsuccessfully for mayor in 2022 against former Flint mayor Karen Weaver and Neely, the current mayor. Councilman Mays was not only a dedicated public servant, but also a tireless champion for the people of Flint. Yeah, man, this dude definitely fought for the people of Flint, Michigan when you know, the people in those councilman seats were definitely not doing anything for the people. He was definitely bold and courageous and really powerful within his words, in my opinion. His unwavering uh, commitment to the to the community has left an incredible mark, and his absence will be deeply felt by all who had the privilege of knowing him. During May's um, tenure on the council, Flint went through the water crisis and the city emerged from state emergency management to resume self uh, governance. He was among the loudest calling for justice in his uh, continuance. So during the whole Flint, Michigan crisis, he was the most bold one to be out here talking about, you know, helping the people of Flint, Michigan during the water crisis. See, we needed more people like, you know, Councilman Eric Mays out here to be standing up for the, you know, the small people, the little guy. Uh, it say Mays was serving a three-month suspension from the council at the time of his death but his legal um, counsel was mourning a legal challenge to the council's ability to prevent him from attending meetings. Funeral arrangements for Mays w w were not announced Saturday evening. So he was serving a uh, three-month suspension uh, from the council, you know, during this whole situation, and he passed away tragically um, during, during um, his suspension. And you got people on Facebook, you got a sister named Tonya Burns um, putting her condolences up to the late, great Eric Eric Mays. You got people showing their respects. Because I just woke up and heard about this. This is real sad to hear that um, Councilman Mays is passed away at the young 10-year ten ten age of 65. But, yeah, man, I just wanted to report on that story let me see if I can get some more information coming from um, a different website because I got this information from abc12.com. Let me just make sure that I can get um 
for more information from a different website. Yeah, because you got different websites talking about it now. I thought it was like a like somebody was trolling when I looked at it on my phone, but this is really happening. Um, you got other people talking about it. Let me go to his Wikipedia because they already updated it. All right, Eric Mays, born September 16th, 1958, died today, February 24th, 2024, at the young tenure age of 65. Let me see. It says that Mays was found deceased in his Flint home late on February 2024, the 24th of today. A statement issued by the city of Flint upon his death referred to Mays' bold and courageous service in as beloved among his among the people in the First Ward. It says Mays was known to be highly uncontroversial due to several incidents where he was suspended and escorted out of the count out of city council meetings. See, that just goes to show you that you know when people are standing up for their people, let alone the citizens of Flint, Michigan, you need a brother like Eric Mays, and he will be sadly missed, you know, in the in those city council meetings, and definitely be missed for from for the city of flint michigan let alone amongst the black american community because it ain't a lot of eric mays out there who who is very you know i want i want to say controversial but he's definitely bold he don't take no back talk for nobody he he's tried he tried to stand up for the real people um not only in the city of flint michigan but throughout the whole entire united states of america amongst the black american community but that just goes to show you that real people like that will always be missed and always will have a a good stand a good standing within the Black American community. Let me see. His spouse is named Megan Ritchie, and his occupation was a auto worker slash politician. Let me see. All right. Let me get some more information. Because they just updated his Wikipedia. It said um, this page was last edited on February 25th, 2024 at 9.56 p.m. So he passed away yesterday. And he got he got his Wikipedia updated today. But yeah, man, rest in peace to count city councilman Eric Mays. Your legacy will always be remembered not only within the city of Flint, Michigan, but throughout the whole United States of America. You know, you was you was one of many people throughout the Black American um political um realm that was actually doing something for the people. Cause we always have politicians that look like us but don't do nothing for us. But you know, Councilman Eric Mays was a man of the people. He was definitely you know bold within his words. He was definitely a revolutionary, uh, way way before his time. So rest in peace, City Councilman Eric Mays. 1958 to 2024 may your soul you know um rest in power and may your family members mourn and you know just show the family respect and just give them the time and space that they need 